Hey guys, it's Bub here. A few weeks ago, we took a look at Nexus Lite OS 11, which was the Tiny 10 version of Windows 11. Of course, it wasn't officially made by NT Dev, but it was made by another developer who decided, hey, we can make Windows 11 lightweight. I believe it was six gigabytes, or maybe that was a different lightweight Windows 11 distro. But either way, in this video, we're taking a look at Nexus Lite OS 8.1. And the reason I wanna take a look at this is because Windows 8.1 is already an incredibly lightweight operating system. And so just seeing how a lighter version of Windows 8.1 will run is really gonna be interesting. So the specs of this virtual machine, we have one gig of RAM, one processor core, and 60 gigabytes. One gigabyte of RAM is very minimal. So I'm interested to see what this does on one gigabyte of RAM. So going ahead and booting from the DVD, we're gonna see the custom Nexus Lite OS install screen, which if it's anything like the other Nexus Lite OS install screen, it'll be a little bit unique, but that's okay because it's just the install screen. And yeah, this looks this looks pretty bad. Um, kind of looks like it was made in paint in a way, but it's just a setup screen. We can get past it. So it does say Windows 8, so we're just going to click Next, Nexus Lite OS 8.1, and then Install on this drive. And here we are after the install. It didn't take too long, but we are now on the desktop of Nexus Lite OS 8.1. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually install VMware tools just so we can get the full screen effect. But there was no out of box experience as there typically is in these pre-made Windows environments. It, it's typically because the fact that most of the software that's installed on these custom versions cannot be installed through making a new account. So if we made a new account, some of the tweaks wouldn't be there and it just looks like it's not going to work at all. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get into control panel and just change the resolution. But right now, I'm not having a great experience right now. This is kinda laggy. Or not, because that made it really laggy. Oh God, the OS is super laggy on 1080p. It's gonna look a little stretched, but that's okay. So by default, we have Activator, which is literally KMS Spyco. Um, that's not exactly legal in the Microsoft world. For your drivers is Driver Booster Pro, and no clue what that is. And then the World of PC Blog and the World of PC YouTube channel, which they are the developers of this, so definitely go check them out below. But of course, the .urls don't open because I don't think there's a web browser. By default, on the taskbar, we have our start screen, we have our file explorer and the Microsoft Store, which does still open in the full UWP experience. Um, it did just crash, I think, yep, okay. I guess it doesn't work. Over here we have our standard Windows 8 stuff, sound, networking, blah, 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 blah. You know, all the typical stuff that's really lagging because we have no drivers. In the start menu, we have store, file explorer, desktop, and some default Windows apps. The camera is still installed. Documents, I mean, these are really shortcuts. PC settings, lockdown manager. I think that's an enterprise feature because we're on enterprise. Um, notepad paint, you know, typical Windows stuff. A lot of the Metro apps have been removed. I think I called it a UWP app earlier, but no, this is a Metro app. Um, a lot of the Metro apps have been removed. Um, the only ones that remain are store PC settings, camera, and everything else looks like it's gone. Um, PC settings, I'm kind of interested. Okay, everything looks the same. One thing I did just notice is that this cursor looks really weird. I'm not sure if it's just me because this VM is so weird in the way, but it looks like an Ubuntu cursor. Uh, it, it really looks like an Ubuntu cursor. Can I get... Yeah, look, there's the Ubuntu loading screen, and for some reason that didn't open the way I had hoped. Yeah, it's... It's really weird. What? I mean, it's really laggy, too, but again, there's no drivers because it wouldn't let me install VMware tools. Um, for some reason, the default user account is named 1. Locking the computer, we get... Is there not a lock screen? There has to be a lock screen. There has to be a lock screen. It's Windows 8. There is no lock screen. 
Oh, I think I know why. I don't know if Enterprise versions came with a lock screen. And since we're running Windows 8.1 Enterprise, that might be why. Okay. Well, in terms of storage space, we're using 5.2 gigabytes. That is not a lot of space. But as for our one gigabyte of RAM, we are using 480 megabytes of that RAM. But we are using 90% of the disk for some reason, just idling. I really don't know what is using so much of the disk. Um, yeah, that's really weird. It shouldn't be using that much of the disk. But in terms of RAM, it's not that bad. Uh, the only thing I wish is that it would install the VMware tools, and I'm sure if I played around with it a little bit more, it would have, you know, installed. But there's not even Google Chrome on here. There's not even a web browser. But yeah, this is Nexus LightOS 8.1. Pretty unique. Um, I feel like using the default version of Windows 11, or not, I feel like using the default version of Windows 8.1 is just enough for a LightOS because... Let's be honest, Windows 8 is already incredibly lightweight. There is really no need to have LightOS 8.1 because it's just already so lightweight that this kind of even doesn't make sense. I mean, the custom cursor doesn't make sense to me either. Why would you add another cursor if there's already a default one and you're trying to make a light OS? You're just adding more stuff that the, that the system doesn't need. But in terms of apps, very minimalistic. Help and support, is that a Windows 8 app? Yeah, that is a Windows 8 app. I don't know why I questioned that. It looked like an HP app for some reason. I guess that logo. I haven't been on Windows 8 in such a long time. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.